Hi my friends, hope you're doing great. I'm Hannah and in today's video we're gonna cover lesson 28 of the most important daily expressions with stories videos. سلام دوستای عزیز من امیدوارم که حالتون خیلی خیلی خوب باشه هنه هستم از تیم فرا زبان توی ویدیوی امروز اومدیم تا با هم دیگه درس 28 از سری درس های مهمترین عبارات انگلیسی در قالب داستانمون رو کاور بکنیم با روال کار آشنا هستید So let's dive in اول بریم سراغ داستانمون بدون هیچ ترجمه ای Sometimes at my job, I have to attend to work in the back of the store, like unpacking boxes or checking inventory. When someone comes in the store and they don't see anyone at first glance, they think the store is closed. Just to make it clear that I am in the store and ready to help, I put a bell on the counter. I also put a sign next to the bell that says, please ring the bell if you need help. I thought the bell was a clear-cut solution to my, my problem, and it worked great at first. I could always hear it even if I had on headphones and uh, was listening to music. For the first week, I never missed a customer. Unfortunately, however, my great idea didn't last long. I didn't take into account the fact that some people might enjoy ringing the bell for fun. The bell started driving me crazy after a while. Children played a big part in this problem. They would come into the store, ring the bell and run outside again. I had to keep running back and forth from the back of the store to the front. One day, a little boy took the bell and ran around the store, ringing it over and over again. I knew it was no use getting angry with the boy. He was just a child. However, I was really fed up with the bell. I threw it in a box and hid it under the counter. However, I forgot to take down the sign when I got rid of the bell. This turned into the real solution to my problem. Now, when someone comes into the store, I know that they need help when I hear them yell, Hey, where is the bell? Hala, benim sorağı dune dune phrase hamun. Attend to means take care of. Attend to means take care of. معنی رسیدگی کردن. حواس به چیزی بودن. یعنی مثلا توی بعضی از کانتکس ها معنی خدمت کردن میده به کسی. Sometimes at my job, I have to attend to work in the back of the store like unpacking boxes or checking inventory. She had to attend to the guests in the other room. اون باید به مهمونای توی اوکی مهمونایی که منظورش مهمونایی که تو اتاق دیگه بود در رسیدگی میکرد بعد مهمونای اتاق دیگه رسیدگی میکرد The staff attended to our every need at the resort پرسنل به تمام نیازهای ما توی اقامتگاه تفریحی رسیدگی کردن I'm sorry but I'm afraid that I have to leave No problem I have some things to attend to as well ببخشید ولی متاسفانه باید برم اشکال نداره من هم یه سری چیزایی دارم که باید بهشون رسیدگی کنم She attended to her guests The next expression is at first glance which means after a quick look At first glance means after a quick look در نگاه اول When someone comes in the store and they don't see anyone at first glance they think the store is closed The problem looked easy at first glance. در نگاه اول مشکل آسون به نظر می رسید. At first glance, she seemed to be very young. در نگاه اول خیلی جوان به نظر می رسید. What do you think of my drawing? At first glance, it looks like a monkey in a suit. نظر در مورد نقاش تراحیم چیه؟ در نگاه اول شبیه میمونی که کت کت شلوار پوشیده. At first glance, He looked similar to his brother, but now I can see the difference. At first glance. Clear cut. Clear cut means easily seen. Clear. Easily seen. Clear. Clear cut means روشن قطعی. روشن سری. مشخص واضح میده. I thought the bell was a clear cut solution. 
to my sorry clear-cut solution to my problem and it worked great at first مثال هامون that is the most clear-cut explanation of the theory I have ever heard اون واضح ترین توضیح برای تئوری است که من تا به حال شنیدم there did not seem to be any clear cut solution to the problem. به نظر نمی رسید هیچ راه حل روشن و واضحی برای um, مشکل وجود داشته باشه. If you don't like your job, just quit. It's not so clear cut. My boss is also my father-in-law. اگه شغل تو دوست نداری فقط استعفا کن. اینقدر در واقع روشن و واضح نیست. رئیسم پدر زنمه. It looks like we have a clear cut winner. Clear cut. حالا بریم سراغ expression بعدی which is take into account. Take into account means consider. Take into account means account means consider. معنی در نظر گرفتن میده. I didn't take into account the fact that some people might enjoy ringing the bell for fun. The first example, she didn't take into account the fact that the bank was closed on Saturdays. اون این واقعیت رو که بانک در شنبه ها روزهای شنبه تعطیل بود رو در نظر نگرفت. Did you take into account the possibility that some people don't like seafood? آیا این احتمال رو که بعضی از مردم غذای دریایی دوست ندارن رو در نظر گرفتی؟ I made reservations at a Milton hotel for dinner. Did you take into account that we only have twenty dollars? We get to Milton Hotel was the Sham reserve card and Mazur Mise. In a Danazar Gerefti Kifarat Bistolar Dari. He didn't take into account the possibility that the bus might be late. Expression about it is drive one crazy. It bore Hoshenity. Drive one crazy means make angry, bother or annoy. Drive one crazy means make someone angry, bother or annoy someone. معنی اصلا کسی رو دیوونه کردم دیگه یعنی انقدر عصبانیش بکنید اذیتش بکنید دیگه تو فارسی نمیگیم دیوونم کردی. پس دیوونه کردن، عصبانی کردن. The bell started driving me crazy after a while. These mosquitoes are driving me crazy. Pasha dara man divune mikonan. He was trying to drive her crazy on purpose. Un sa'i dash az qastun divune kona, asabanish bokone. That noise is driving me crazy. Sorry, I'll practice my violin somewhere else. Un sada dara man divune mikona. Bebakhshid, violinam ye jo dige tamrin mikonam. He's beginning to drive me crazy. Un dara dige shuru mikona man divune bokone. Drive one crazy. To مثال اول گفتیم drive me. To مثال دوم گفتیم drive her. Then we have play a part in, which means have an effect on something or be involved with. Play a part in means have an effect on something or be involved with. معنی تو چیزی نقش داشتن، مشارکت داشتن، تأثیر داشتن روی چیزی میده. Children played a big part in this problem. The first example says the bad weather played a part in our decision to cancel the picnic. هوای بعد توی تصمیم ما برای کنسل کردن پیکنیک تأثیر داشت. Education plays an important part in success. تحصیلات نقش مهمی در موفقیت داره. How did you put out the fire so quickly? Volunteer firefighters played a part in stopping the fire. چطور این قصد سری آتیش رو خاموش کردی؟ آتش نشان های دوب طلب نقش مهمی در خاموش کردن آتیش داشتن. Regular exercise plays a part in staying healthy. Back and forth means go and come between two places. Back and forth means Go and come between two places. توی دفنشن میگه بین دو تا مکان هی رفت و آمد کردن. معنی پس و پیش میده. من پس مثلا پس و پیش رفتن. از یه طرف به این طرف رفتن. هی رفت و آمد کردن. I have to keep running back and forth from the back of the store to the front. میبینید؟ از پشت مغازه به جلوی مغازه هی رفته اومده. پس و پیش رفته. 
The dog ran back and forth across the yard. سگه تو طول حیات هی hey, پس و پیش می هی hey, از این برمی می رفت اون بر. می دوید. The tennis players hit the ball back and forth for almost five minutes. So you work in New York, but you live in Vermont? Yes, I drive back and forth every weekend. پس تو نیویورک کار میکنی ولی تو ورمونت زندگی میکنی آره هر آخر هفته هی میرم میام منظورش از ورمونت به نیویورک میره میاد و گفتیم بین دو تا نقطه بین دو تا پلیس رفت آمد کردن back and forth back and forth عقب جلو عقب جلو be no use plus the verb in ing for be no use Verb ing means does not change the situation. Something does not change the situation. وقتی میخوایم بگیم انجام دادن یه کاری هیچ تأثیر نداره. اصلا چیز رو تغییر نمیده. مثلا میگیم که میتونیم بگیم فایده ای نداره. بی فایده است. مثلا انجام دادن اون کار از این expression استفاده میکنیم. I knew it was no use getting angry with a boy. It's no use getting upset over a broken glass. ناراحت شدم واسه یه دیوان شکسته هیچ فایده ای نداره I tried to cheer her up but it was no use talking to her سعی کردم خوشحالش کنم ولی حرف زدن باش هیچ فایده ای نداشت It's no use trying to fix that old TV again You're right, let's buy a new one تعمیر کردن اون تلویزیون قدیمی دوباره تعمیر کردنش هیچ فایده ای نداره حق با تو بیاین جهیدش رو بخریم It's no use getting upset over an ex-girlfriend. Then we have fed up with, which means sick of, at the limit of one's endurance. Fed up with means sick of, at the limit of one's endurance. معنی fed up with هم خیلی استفاده میشه. معنی بیزار بودن از چیزی، خسته شدن از چیزی، حالتون از چیزی به هم بخوره. However, I was really fed up with a bell. She was fed up with living in such a small apartment. اون از زندگی کردن توی چنین آپارتمان کوچیکی که خسته شده بود. Aren't you fed up with having to work so much over time? از اینکه مجبوری این همه اضافه کار کار کنی خسته نشدی؟ I am fed up with eating ham every day. Okay, tomorrow we'll have bacon. از اینکه هر روز جامبون خوب میخوای خسته شدم. باشه فردا بیکن میخوریم. تصویرمو میگه I am fed up with your behavior. Let's go to the last, last expression. Turn into, which means become, change to. Turn into, معنیت شدن, تبدیل شدن, تغییر پیدا کردن به چیزی میده. This turned into the real solution to my problem. The conversation turned into an argument. گفتگو به یه بحث تبدیل شد. The frog turned into a handsome prince. قرباقه تبدیل به یه پرنس جذاب شد. Your puppy really eats a lot. Yes, he's going to turn into a big dog someday. سگ کچیک توله سگت خیلی غذا میخوره. آره قراره یه روزی تبدیل بشه به سگ بزرگ. They say when I drink, I turn into a monster. حالا مثل همیشه میریم سراغ داستانمون با معنیش. Sometimes at my job, I have to attend to work in the back of the store. بعض موقع سر کارم باید به یه کارایی در انت پشت مغازه رسیدگی کنم. Like unpacking boxes or checking inventory. کارایی مثل باز کردن جعبه ها یا چک کردن فهرست کالا ها. When someone comes in the store and they don't see anyone at first glance, وقتی یکی میاد داخل مغازه و در نگاه اول کسی رو نمیبینه, they think the store is closed. فکر میکنن که مغازه بست است. Just to make it clear that I am in the store and ready to help, فقط برای اینکه مشخص کنم که من تو مغازه و آماده هم آماده ام که کمک کنم, I put a bell on the counter. روی کانتر یه زنگ گذاشتم. I also put a sign next to the bell that says ring please ring the bell if you need help. همچنین کنار اون زنگ یه علامت گذاشتم که نوشته بود روش یا میگفت اگه به کمک نیاز دارید زنگ رو بزنید. 
I thought the bell was a clear cut solution to my problem. فکر می کردم که اون زنگ یه راه حل روشن و قطعی برای مشکلمه. And it worked great at first. و اول سر خیالی کار کرد. I could always hear it even if I had on headphones and was listening to music. همیشه میتونم اون ایت مزرش زنگ است. همیشه میتونستم صدای زنگ رو بشنم. حتی اگه هدفون رو گوشم بود داشتم موسیقی گوش میدادم. For the first week, برای هفته اول, I never missed a customer. اصلا هیچ مشتری رو از دست ندادم. Unfortunately, however, my great idea didn't last long. اگر چه که متاسفانه ایده عالیم خیلی دوم نیاورد. I didn't take into account the fact that some people might enjoy ringing the bell for fun. این حقیقت رو که بعضی از مردم ممکنه برای تفریح فقط زنگو بزنن رو در نظر نگرفتم. The bell started driving me crazy after a while. بعد از این مدتی زنگ شروع کرد که دیوونه کردن من. عصبانی کردنم. Children played a big part in this problem. بچه ها نقش مهمی توی این مشکل داشتن. They would come into the store, می آمدن تو مغازه, ring the bell, زنگو می زدن, and run outside again. می دویدن بیرون دوباره. I had to keep running back and forth from the back of the store to the front. همش باید از پشت مغازه به جلوی مغازه پس و پیش می رفتم. می دویدم. One day, a little boy took the bell and ran around the store ringing it over and over again. یه روز یه پچه کوچیک زنگو برداشت طور تا دور مغازه هی می دوید می دوید هی اونو زنگ می زد دوباره I knew it was no use getting angry with a boy می دونستم که اصابان شدن از دست به پسره هیچ فایده ای نداره He was just a child فایی بچه بود However, I was really fed up with a bell با این حال من از زنگ واقعا خسته شده بودم I threw it in a box and دختم شوی جعبه and hid it under the counter و گذاشتم از زیر کانتر However, I forgot to take down the sign when I got rid of the bell. با این حال یادم رفت وقتی از شر زنگ خلاص شدم اون علامت رو بردارم. This turned into the real solution to my problem. این تبدیل شد به راه حل واقعی برای مشکلم. Now, when someone comes into the store, الان وقتی میاد داخل, کسی میاد داخل مغازه I know that they need help when I hear them yell Hey, where is the bell? میفهمم که وقتی داد میزنن هی hey, زنگ کجاست میفهمم کمک نیاز دارن این از داستان امروزمون Now it's your turn to do this multiple choice question uh, There are 10 questions which you have to read them and choose the best option A, B or C And the next exercise is a short conversation between Linda and Dan You have to complete this conversation using these six expressions این از تمرین های همیشگیمون ده تا سوال مالتیپل چویس دارید و یه مکالمه که باید کاملش بکنید حتما تمرین بکنید چون بهتر راه یادگیری اکسپریشن ها در قالب داستان ها در قالب مثال هست برای خودتون جمله سازی بکنید نوت بردارید و اونا رو توی قسمت کامنت ها برای من کامنت بکنید منتظر خوندن جمله های شما مثال های شما و جواب تمریناتون هستم امیدوارم که ویدیو براتون مفید بوده باشه اگر اینطور بود لطفا ویدیو رو لایک کنید و حتما با دوستاتون به اشتراک بذارید مرسی از اینکه تا پایان ویدیو همراه من بودید و تا ویدیوی بعدی روزتون بخیر